Okay, so the gay Lucius law and Charles's law are very similar because the temperature of a gas is directly related to the volume when pressure and mass of a gas remains constant. This means that for, ga for gas given, the volume of each gas divided by the temperature of the gas will yield the same number for each volume and temperature combination. Volume should be measured in liters. Um, temperatures in Kelvin. Uh, if your values are different units, then you should can try to convert them. Let's say you have one unit all around. It makes it easier to do the calculations. Um, you just want to make sure your calculations are correct. So like it would be V1 over T1. So volume one over temperature one equals volume two over temperature two. Um, I'm going to use um, mathematics to show my examples because obviously it's a hard it's hard to do an experiment at home. You don't have like all the resources. So the first example I'm going to do is Charles's law. And Charles's law. So the equation or the word problem that I use for math is 600 milliliters of air is at 200 or is at 27 degrees Celsius. And what is the volume at 60 degrees Celsius? So if you plug in to the equation that you're supposed to use, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, you would plug in. 60 over 300 equals V2 over 333. V1 is equal to 600. T1 is equal to 27 plus 273 Kelvin, which equals 300 Kelvin. And then T2 is 273 plus 60 Kelvin, which equals 300, 333 Kelvin, pretty much. So you do 600 divided by 300, which equals 2. And then you multiply that by 333, which gives you 666 milliliters. And that's Charles's law. The next one I have is the gay Lusaic's law. And again, I'm using a mathematical equation for all this. And so for this one, it's a P1 equals P2, and then T1 equals T2. P standing for pressure, and T standing for temperature. Um, as a gas is cooled at a constant volume, its pressure consistently decreases until the gas condenses to a liquid. Um, you know, uh, so for example, I'm going to do another math problem. So. The gas at an aerosol can under or can under a pressure of three atmospheric pressure. Um, at three atmospheric, uh, at a temperature of twenty five degrees Celsius. That's the that's the equation I'm going to use. Um, is it dangerous to dispose of an aerosol can by incineration? What would the pressure in the aerosol can be at the temperature of 845 degrees Celsius? So what we know is that the pressure 1 is 3 atm and T1 is 25 degrees Celsius or 298 Kelvin. And T2 is 845 degrees Celsius or 100, or one, excuse me, um, 1,118 Kelvin. We have to find P2. So P2 is equal to P1 times T2 divided by T1. So P2 is equal to 3 atm times 1,118 Kelvin divided by 298 Kelvin, uh, which equals 11.3 atm. Um, the pressure increase dramatically due to a large increase in temperature. Uh, 
but the pressure and temperature at a constant volume are directly proportional. And that's uh, gay lussac's law. Now the last law is Boyle's law. And Boyle's law just is a gas which states that the pressure exerted by a gas of a given mass kept at constant temperature is inversely proportional to the volume occupied by it. Um, in other words, basically it means that the pressure and volume of gas are inversely proportional to each other as long as the temperature and quantity of a gas are kept constant. Boyle's law was put forward by the Anglo-Irish chemist Robert Boyle in the year uh, 1662. So the, the the mathematical equation I'm gonna do for you is another word problem. A fixed a fixed amount of gas occupies a volume of one liter and exerts pressure of 400 kPa on the walls of its container. What would be the pressure exerted by the gas if it's completely transferred into a new container having a volume of three liters? But this you know, we have to assume that the uh, temperature and quantity of the gas will remain constant, you know? So obviously what we know is that the initial volume of V1 is one liter. The initial pressure P1 is 400 kPa. And the final volume V2 is three liters. Um, and obviously the equation we have to do is P1 times V1 divided by V2. Um, so, it's going to be P2 equals 1 liter times 400 kPa divided by 3 liters, which gives us 133.33 kPa. Therefore, the gas exerts a pressure of 133.33 kPa on the walls of the 3 liter container. And that's how both of the laws work mathematically. But... Yeah, that's all I have for you today, and thank you for watching my video. And uh, I hope you like the cool, cool music in the background. I know I do.